My next speaker tries to keep up with me. He's a badass, honestly. He recently left um, SBDC. He's got government uh, consulting and work history and draft into a giant as a cat. Rafael Mato. You're never going to just spike his whole back, Eric. You're never going to get back. You got to clap. Whenever somebody comes up with an iPad, it's a prop, right? So everybody, we don't have any bedtime issues here, right? Everybody, well, 10 ish will be good. 11, 12, I finish talking, sounds good. 15 minutes on the clock. All right, I'm going to try to keep it to 15 minutes, Eric. You're no fun at all, honestly. My house. I am Rafael Mata, president of Gambit Services. I'm Rafael Mata, president of Gambit Services. I'm Rafael Mata, president of Gambit Services. I probably said that to myself about 3,000 times before I actually believed it. Before anyone believes in your business, you need to believe in your business. You want customers? Show them that you believe in your business. Get a real domain. Apply for a credit line. Hit the main street. That's what Eric and I have done here. I have spent 25 years. We'll say I started as a teenager. We'll keep it at that. 25 years in state government, local government, city government. I know all about grants. I'm the procurement guy. I'm one of those really nerdy guys that actually puts together those crazy documents with all those words that scare the junk out of all of us. That's what I've done my whole life. I'm also a champion for the underserved. My whole career, I have helped people with a lot of money make a lot of money. But my heart has always been in helping the community. Imagine how disappointed I was when I worked at the county level and couldn't achieve change within government. The city level and couldn't achieve change. The state of New Jersey and couldn't achieve change. And I'll tell you why that is. We were always supposed to help ourselves. I'm here as Gambit Services. Eric is here as Procurement Con, as Black Ink, to help you help yourself. That's what we're creating. So before I start my presentation, I'm going to be asking you guys now and then later on. I need you to help to get the word out. Where are we right now? We're not at Citibank. We're not at the Golden Nugget. This is Main Street. This is small business. This is where small business is. This is where you find people making their livelihood. Yeah, we don't make a million bucks a year, but we only gotta make like 250, maybe 300, maybe 400, and we could live a very good life. That has been my mission my whole life and how disappointing has it been that I haven't been able to fix it in government. But how exciting is it that I'm going to be able to tackle it now? So let me talk a little bit about what exactly Eric and I are doing here as a recap. What's BizTalk? They're local events. You're going to see us here. You're going to see us in North Jersey. You're going to see us in Central Jersey. You're going to see us everywhere, but you're going to see us networking in local business areas. This is so that it's accessible to you. All that stuff that you heard today sounds complicated, might not be applicable to you right now. But imagine being, being able to have a workshop right here where you can learn these things. We have a lot of challenges that we need to tackle. There's a lot of things that we need to learn and we can't do it all in one workshop. But imagine if in your local town, in your local area, inside your local businesses, you had a voice, where you could talk about what the challenges are. You had people that already went through it. And for God's sakes, you have people that are very passionate about getting things done for small business. We're local events. We're local small business networking. We're free low cost workshops through the network of speakers that he has. We are subject matter, matter experts. Why should you listen to somebody like me? Challenges of the small business are the following. Look, I've already set off the, the fire alarm. Obviously, I'm just 
hot. I'm just too hot. That's what it is. And wait, that does not count towards my 15 minutes. Yeah, with, Eric, with Eric, it does count towards 15 minutes. Uh, but what are some of the challenges of small business? There's a lack of centralization of information. That's why we're here, bringing you the information local. There's a lack of local contracts and small business opportunities. You guys are not talking. In addition to that, there are no information portals. There's nobody that you can just have a conversation with and say, hey, I'm a clothing company. I'd like a contract in Monmouth County. Who do I talk to? How do I prepare for that? How do, what do I need? There's no one to talk to because government is not designed to speak to the, their constituents directly that way. There's all these processes, there's all these legislation and rules. That's what I've dedicated my whole life to and that's what I'm bringing to this partnership. There's limited access to capital. I need a loan, I need a credit card, but let's be honest. Look, I'm Hispanic. It's in my culture to not want loans. My dad told me no loans. My grandfather told me no loans. But here's the problem. We live in a country that runs on loans. If you're from any Caribbean island, the little fantasy of the cigar box with the cash, remember you get married with the beautiful girl, they give you a nice little cigar box with cash that grandpa had somewhere in some secret location, and he says, take care of my girl. Here's for the business. Here's to start, it's a lie. That hasn't happened in a long time. I'm gonna go ahead and say that probably hasn't happened in 80 years. Might have not even happened in 80 years, all right? Excuse me. Technology failing me once again. And finally, we have teamed up to tackle a lot of the challenges that you're having, okay? That's what Biz Talk is. That's what Procurement Con is. You should get the word out because you, what you're going to see be born has never been done before a local solution to a national problem. Now I have a little story for you, right? This is Biz Talk. Who am I? Why am I qualified to be telling you these things? I'm just a business like you, we're the same. I have the same challenges, access to capital challenges. I cannot get the qualified people in the right roles. Maybe I'm not doing things as efficiently as possible. Well, I serve as a director of a small business office in, in a very prominent county in New Jersey. I implemented something called a set-aside program. Show of hands, anybody know what that, what this ridiculous term even sounds like, set-aside program? Anybody ever heard of it? Sounds nice though, right? Sounds like I'm putting a little, a little something aside for you. That's what it sounds like to me. Let me put a little something aside for my small businesses because we care about them. That's not what happens. If you don't spend it, if there's no demand for it, it gets reallocated somewhere else. But I had an opportunity to work in Hudson County, serve local businesses directly. And what do you think? Anybody can volunteer. What do you think? the response of somebody from local government going out into the main street, maybe 3BR, maybe I come on and say, hey, hey 3BR, I, I really would like to help you guys with a loan, um, maybe with a, a construction contract, something. I'd like to help you with something. And I'm from the government. How, how do you think that went? This, this man uh, nodding his head right now, what? They threw me out. They didn't only throw me out, they called the county executive. Yeah. They called the county executive and they complained. They said, we got this guy, Rafael Mata here. Sounds like a scam. Both of them are scammers over here talking about they're going to help us get us free money from government and get a free contract. It's unheard of. The trust is not there because, hey, our government doesn't connect the dots all the time. They fund things by population and by problem. But that's not necessarily how things work in the real world down here with us. That's what we're here for. That's what we are here to address. It took us about three months of just putting a suit on, going down to the storefront, speaking to the owner, keep coming back, keep getting thrown out. 
keep coming back, keep getting thrown out. Until finally, they knew that we were real. So again, even with that position, even as the director of that office, with all this political prowess, the department's resources at my back, all this social media push, I still couldn't get people to take advantage of money that's on the table. Why is this? It's because we need small businesses to speak the language of other small businesses and connect the dots, connect the resources, bundle the resources, put it together for the small businesses. And what's the name of my business again? Does anybody remember? Yeah. Services. Gambit Strategic. That's the opening move on a chessboard. Services. Strategic services. Not strategic workshop. Not st strategic blah, blah, blah. Okay? Strategic services. What you need. I need to form my business. I need a capability statement. I need a business plan. That's what the bank told me. That's what we're here to design. To create these small workshops, these small resources with all these subject matter experts so that you can chain all these things together and get eventually where you want to be. There is no silver bullet. There is no one program that you can join that's going to show you how to be a great business. Um, our host gave us a great example. And I know I got five minutes. I'm wrapping it up for you. Our host gave us a great example, which is... The biggest skill that you can learn to have as a small business is determination. They tell me no a lot. I am extremely determined. I get kicked out a lot. I am extremely determined. When I created that set-aside program, I am not even lying. There was people looking out their windows with the blinds on, and I could see them popping in and saying, oh, man, is that guy coming for small business to try to get a cut of this money to bother us? to make us change, to make us do something different. As I wrap up my 15 minutes, I don't think it's fair I got 15 minutes, but it's okay. It's all right. As I wrap up my 15 minutes, I'd like to really focus on what Gambit Services is doing for communities and what this partnership is gonna do for communities. We're here in a singular county, but you're gonna see this all over the state in shared spaces and restaurants, everywhere that people want to hear the word of small business basically improving and expanding. Gambit Services advises private businesses who are looking to grow. That's you and that's the big guy. Everybody wants to grow. You're in America. All we do is grow. It's grow, 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 grow. What happens when you stop growing? You restart and you grow something else. But we're always on a growth trajectory. Gambit Services creates wealth through guidance and advisement. We're giving you access to that guidance and advisement. You're getting me and you're getting everyone that you're speaking to, including the people that get an opportunity to talk about their experiences. Their experiences are very important. We're designing community services that stack together business essentials, as I mentioned earlier. And finally, we're looking to try to make you bankable and procurement ready. Do not be afraid to fail. At some point, you fail enough, and Eric can testify to this, you seem to fall up the stairs, not down. If you stay focused and you see your vision before you, Come to these local events and figure out how to put action to the words that we have given you. Reach out to me. Reach out to the people that you've seen here. And you'll see the difference of us helping each other locally. Local economies helping themselves. The only way forward in this country the only way out of poverty in these current economic circumstances is a small business. It could be a small business in addition to a job. It could be a small business in place of a job. I want you all to really think about that as you drive home today. In a business, 
You cannot cap my income in a job. I can cap your income. So think about that as you go home. Thank you, Eric. I think I'm on time, but I never quite know. <laughs> like 37 seconds. <laughs> 37 seconds. Thank you very much for your time, everyone. Really appreciate you coming out here this evening. Please follow this talk. Thank you. Well,